Hey everyone, it's Jaden back with another freaking video. my channel if you're new hello I am Jane and Ashley and I'm so happy for you to be here with me this is my second video since I've been back from my little break my mental health break and I feel amazing I feel like I look amazing the setup is amazing everything is just going well before we get started I have to thank see-through Nikki for creating me my new profile picture I don't know if you guys noticed but I did make a few changes whenever I was on my YouTube break I changed my profile picture and my header so thanks to them I feel like I have this new cute like updated cartoon version. Elsa, you want to come say hey? You want to say hey, sweet girl? I do have a discount code for you guys, so if you want to get a new little picture, even if you're like a content creator or just someone who wants a cute little photo to have, I have a code Jaden10. It will get you $10 off, which is amazing because I feel like the pricing is just perfect. A lot of hard work goes into creating those little images, so thank you guys for that. I am totally obsessed with my new profile picture, so thank you guys. Be sure to go check them out. During my break, one of the things that I needed to do in order to like help myself, help my my mental, physical, and everything was get microneedling done. I've been struggling with acne for the last year um, due to some recent medication that I had been taking, which I'm not on anymore, but it just broke my face out terribly. So this basically is my journey of microneedling. My first session, I am going to be getting three sessions. I wanted to do a quick little Q&A before we get into like the actual microneedling process. What did my face look like day one, two, three? I think I went to like day five and now I'm like two, three weeks um, post-op because it really was like a procedure. So I had my followers on Instagram, which if you want to follow me on Instagram, feel free. Um, ask me some questions about microneedling so I can kind of see where y'all's head is at, what kind of questions you want to know. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. All right, so the first thing, which I feel like everybody's gonna ask, did it hurt? Yes, it did hurt. If you've ever gotten a tattoo, it's pretty similar to that feeling, but it's on your face. And your face is numb, so you don't feel it in every area, but it definitely does not feel good. I feel like my pain tolerance is decent though, because I mean, I have a good amount of tattoos. They're all small, but I have like behind my ear, on my neck, on my fingers. Every tattoo that I have is in the worst spot to get it. And I used to get Brazilian waxing. So if you can get a tattoo and a Brazilian wax and a freaking pap smear, you can get microneedling, I swear, because it's just like all of those combined. On a scale from one to 10, I'd say like a seven. Some areas, maybe like a five. Some areas like a nine, like I was low key crying. She really went deep into my skin, and it's like on the lower cheek area because that's where a lot of my scarring is. So uh, my numbing cream kind of like was wearing off. So towards the end, I was like, fuck, 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 please hurry up. I'm like dying right now. But once it was over, like the pains, it sits at like a three or a four for the next like day or so because it feels like a big sunburn. Real quick, I'm going to tell you guys what microneedling actually is. What does microneedling do for your skin? Microneedling is a cosmetic procedure, told you. It involves prickling the skin with tiny sterilized needles. The small wounds cause your body to make more collagen and elastin, which heal your skin and help you look younger. You might also hear it called collagen induction therapy so it basically creates new collagen in your skin and for people who have acne scars and you know bad acne and just you know deep pores this kind of creates new skin for you and because my acne was so harsh around december and january it took a huge toll on my skin that's why it's something i really wanted to do and i'm glad that i did it because the results so far are crazy and it, oh i'm like skipping ahead how long did it take to see results so i would say like about a week or a week and a half later i feel like i noticed the redness was completely gone and my face was just um kind of post peeling it wasn't as peely as it was and 
it was like a few days ago that I took a picture and like my skin was looking so good the clarity of it the texture everything so I'd say give it a week and a half two weeks to kind of notice a really small difference but they say that it takes like a month or so to really notice your skin rebuilding that collagen because it, your skin doesn't just heal itself you know in a week it takes a while but for me personally I noticed some of my redness you know going down in that two week mark people are asking about like the texture of my skin it's definitely a lot more smooth you guys can kind of see like i still have a little bit of acne and like bumps underneath of my makeup but i took a picture this morning that i'm gonna show you guys right here so i still do have my bad days i'm pretty sure my period's coming soon because i have this fat ass pimple on my cheek and my skin hasn't like completely cleared from it but i have Notice the difference in the overall texture and clarity of it, which already has helped my confidence times 10. Are you going to do it again? So they say that in order to truly see a huge difference in your face, you have to do it three times, like to see like a real good end result. So to let you guys know, it was $300 some people don't charge as much but because i am so picky now with what i put on my face who helps me what kind of doctor i see i was just like i'm gonna pay the money because i'm investing in my skin it's a skin investment it's literally something i put on my vision board at the beginning of the year i was gonna make a skin investment because it's something that i really needed to do for myself and i'm so grateful that i did it so um they say you can get it every four weeks i'm gonna wait a little bit because it hurt my pockets a little bit. So I'm getting married in December. So I told her that. So she said, because your wedding isn't until December, you can space yours out a little bit more, which I was going to do anyways. Because makeup, you know, it can cover the, the flaws and everything that I really need for like a wedding. I'm going to go probably in the next month or so, once I save up a little bit of money, definitely three times. She didn't say anything about doing it anymore. And yes, that's $900. But... It's gonna be so worth it in the end. Once you guys see like the before and afters and the process, like you're gonna be like, yes, Jaden. So every time I get it done, I'll make another video to kind of compare. But right now we are in session one. So what exactly do they do? I kind of explained that in like the definition. They numb your face. They actually wouldn't let me film inside of the office either. There was a whole last sign in the office that was like, no cameras are recording and my dumb ass had a tripod and a camera and a camera back. Like I was ready, you know? So here is a picture of me. I think it's post them doing the micro needle. Like I think my face was like all red and splotchy and it just looked like a fat ass sunburn basically. So it was, it was not fun. But before they did it also, here's another picture. They took an alcohol wipe and completely cleansed my face like three times i think she cleansed my face with alcohol just to make sure it was really clean um because if you're putting needles into your face you need to make sure that everything is as sterile as possible and then i had to put numbing on my face for a good 15 20 minutes she even stayed in the room with me i low-key think she was trying to make sure i just didn't film because I definitely would have whipped out that damn camera. <laughs> I just wanted to share the experience with you guys. But basically, I laid all the way back in a chair. I have on this little shower cap kind of thing. Like, it felt like I was going into surgery, okay? And I'm not going to lie to you guys. She, so she said that the forehead was going to be the most painful and the upper lip. And for me, the forehead wasn't that bad. Like, my forehead is pretty freaking clear. Like, I, I didn't really have trouble with my forehead. It was really my cheeks and my chin that were, like, super bad with the acne so the forehead wasn't bad the cheeks weren't terrible but the nose and my upper lip that was like a nine that was like a solid nine and she just went over it real quick so thank god she didn't have to go over that a lot because i didn't really get any pimples above my lip it you just have to kind of do it all i do recommend it if you're struggling with like deep acne scars and just you're not liking the way the texture of your face is feeling because it's not just for acne it's also for skin texture and to gain more clarity in your face microneedling is definitely a choice you have to make for yourself it is expensive and it is a lot of money but saving up that money you know you can invest in the things that you want when you have your own money so that's what I did. My mom actually helped me out a little bit too um, because it was my birthday. So I think she like paid some of it. I paid some of it. But the next time I'm going to be paying all of it. And bitch, I am not excited. Those are all the questions I pretty much got. They're all pretty much the same. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy the little clips that I did get. I show the peeling process. I show like immediately the day after. And then I will see you guys at the end of the video. Good morning, everyone. Oh, 
first time filming <clears throat> in weeks. I'm tired. I turned 22 yesterday. I feel like I didn't get enough sleep. I just, I'm exhausted. But I am headed to get my face microneedled. And I'm really excited because it's going to be a really cool experience to be able to like watch my skin transform. Um, I'm going to be totally transparent with this whole process the price um who i'm going to it's not sponsored at all this is the dermatologist that i've been seeing personally for the last few months um and my skin has come a long way but i think for me the next step is definitely getting something a little bit deeper with my skin which is microneedling um and so uh, i'm really excited it's really freaking early and i'm gonna be late for my appointment because it's damn traffic I don't know why my GPS wanted to take me this way. My appointment's at 8, it's 7.59, it says I'll be there at 8.07, which is not okay because it's just not. Like, I need to be on time. I got my water bottle. I got some cereal in a bag, and I got my chargers, and I got my camera bag, my purse, and, you know, all my goods. So I'm really really looking forward to this i'm a little nervous i was watching some micro needling videos this morning so my anxiety is a little bit high um if you don't follow me on instagram and you're strictly a youtube bay look what i got i do not condone vaping but my anxiety has been terrible recently and this is a cbd pen actually so it's not the same um, I know some people are gonna say like terrible things about it and that's fine But I'm trying to figure out what works for me and my anxiety without having to take medication. This is immediately after So red <laughs> It feels like I got a sunburn. I was not able to film in there um, It is a doctor's office. So she said due to like the HIPAA laws and stuff <sighs> That was something else. I'm not gonna lie. It was um not tremendously painful but the nose definitely was like the worst part which she said normally isn't the worst part which is funny she did my forehead first so my forehead's not as red but my cheeks are definitely super red and she really focused like on these areas she even did my neck it's just crazy i have to go hibernate now all right what do you think about auntie's face Why is it red? I got a, a microfacial. Oh. Do I look crazy? No. No? I just look sunburnt. Hi, baby Aria. <laughs> Hi, pup. Were you making a tower? No, I, I let my friends down. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not doing <laughs> Your letters got knocked got down. <laughs> looky, looky. Got presents. I got birthday presents. You wanna see what Auntie got? What's that? What is that? You got letters? <laughs> you got the letters. So here is 24 hours later. It is a little bit later than exactly 24 hours, but when I woke up, this is what it looked like. The redness definitely went down but you can see like all the flaking and stuff. So I've been using the stuff that they gave me. This one um, is like a rescue calming kind of thing. Um, and it's taking everything in me not to, to pick it, but they also did give me like a little gentle cleanser that I can use now that it's been 24 hours. And um, a power defense. I think that's the exfoliator, so I'm just gonna have to moisturize on my own. But yeah, it doesn't hurt. It just feels super tight. And yesterday I felt like I had a sunburn. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is day three in the morning. I'm about to actually go to work. I haven't washed my face yet. I wanted to show you guys what everything is looking like. Super dry, super, super dry. Um, it's not peeling as bad. It's more just kind of like flaky skin, but that redness is pretty much like all gone If you can't really tell my face definitely is looking, you know, my complexion is a little bit more smooth I still have some like little trouble spots obviously, which isn't just gonna go away 
Um, yeah, so. It's looking good. I'm still not going to put makeup on it yet. Um, I'm going to wait probably until Monday. I'm going to give my face some time to breathe, so. Alright, so I'm going to be using the gentle cleanser that they gave me and then a clear SPF. Um, I never use SPF, but they recommend it. I've been seeing it everywhere that SPF is super good for your face. So, we're going to do what they say. I still have a little bit of that rescue cream on my face. I put it on after my shower, so I need to go get the full-size bottles of these. I love how they feel. Super foamy and cleansing. Really shouldn't have this shirt on right now. Uh, At the moment, I don't really have a good moisturizer, so I'm going to just use the SPF that they gave me. I will update you guys on the dryness and whatnot. Good morning. Well, it's not even morning. It's one o'clock, but um, here is day five, a skin update. I feel like my my camera doesn't give like as much of the texture of my face that I want it to. Um, but I washed my face and kind of exfoliated yesterday. Um, but I think I can tell a big difference. Like, it just overall seems more smooth. Like the the texture of my skin is better and improved and the clarity is just you can see it coming through so you better <laughs> stop it come here come here no <laughs> I, <laughs> I need to do that shit <laughs> come on be in my video do you think my face looks better I didn't brush my teeth yet I just saved my babies. Goodbye. <laughs> Why are you following me? <laughs> are you just, are you just? <laughs> Quit. You're so lazy. <laughs> give me, give me some of that spaghetti. Holy shit. No. Okay, well. I made it for me. I have a third eye due to my period and I'm about to go wash my face and um, they said on day five I can start using my medication again so um, yeah I'm doing good I feel so much better I'm excited to put some uh, makeup on my face I'm gonna wait till tomorrow though for sure and let my face rest three months. and yeah <laughs> you loud motherfucker all right welcome back what do you guys think? Did you see um, any differences in my skin? Like I know I'm biased and I know that I'm not gonna see as much of a difference as you guys possibly. Like we're all gonna see different things. So I'm so grateful that I was allowed and able to pay for a service like that knowing that it was so pricey. Um, but I can't wait to see what session two and three do for my skin, especially with this wedding coming. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to comment down below. I will try and answer. I feel like I always get things done to myself. Like, I got the microblading done on my eyebrows. I got the microneedling to my face. I got lip injections. Like, I do it all. So if you ever need anything and you want me to get it done first, comment down below and I might try it. I won't do anything crazy, but I'm kind of like y'all's guinea pig. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on my post notifications. Head over to my Instagram. I love you guys and stay fabulous.